Hey guys, what is up? So today I'm going to be talking to y'all about uh, She Wolf of London, Big Top She Wolf. Yes, I have not covered that show in a long ass time, but I'm going to do that uh, tonight because why the fuck not? Um, and I'm almost done covering it. I'm not gonna have the Love and Curses thing because that shit was. I'm not gonna touch out with a 20 foot pole. So, anyways, yeah, basically, this one's, this one's kind of interesting. It's pretty dark. Honestly, after, um, well, Beyond and Beyond, I'm not covering that as well, even though it's in, you know, like, the She Wolf of London pen, or whatever, in the name of the series, sorry, I don't know why I have fucking pencil, like, the series, um, because that one was, that one was fucking terrible, but I mean, like, just excluding that, you know, in order to, well, not, this one and do a child. Or something like that. Well, she loves this stuff. I mean, she loves wasn't really dark, but I mean, you know, just okay. So two, two of them are the running couple. Anyways, basically, it's about like uh, Ian and Randy decide to go to circus with, uh, well, in the beginning, this dude who apparently was a classmate of Julian's. It's kind of interesting. Um, went to the circus and he saw this really like this really good looking lady, um, like you know, who's an acrobat and. This guy named Caleb Wakefield, the antagonist of the show, he was basically like, do you want her? And he was like, oh yeah. It's like, I was like, okay, same. But I mean, I mean, what he said next, Caleb was like, I mean, I'll take away your soul. You can have her. But really, he couldn't. I mean, honestly, if someone offered that, I'd be like, no, thank you. Um, I'd be like, for one thing, the least hot, but I mean, for... I can show for one thing. I'd be like, but no, I'd be like, nah, I don't want to sell my soul for that. For like, like one I really know. And plus, it wouldn't, it probably, feelings wouldn't be mutual. Feelings wouldn't be mutual. So I wouldn't even want to fucking, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to touch that. Um, and basically, yeah, so he gets his uh, soul sold. And basically, when they, uh, apparently, like the characters who have had their souls taken, they're just pre-emotionless and stuff like that. They don't, they don't really feel anything. I mean, they don't feel happiness, sadness. They're just, they're just like robots. Like, basically, uh, Randy, Ian, and their family go to the circus for some reason. I guess just because why not? Family adding, yay. Um, basically, like, Randy immediately falls in love with Caleb Wakefield. She's like, ooh, who is that? Who is that cutie? I mean, he's he's good looking, but, I mean, what he, is he hot? Um, no, I, I wouldn't say that Caleb Wakefield is, is hot. He's cute, but he's not hot. He kind of has, like, this creepy thing about him. Um, anyways, basically she falls for him, um, and, like, Ian, of course, is really jealous. He's, like, he's like, ah, shit, not this again. I mean, I had to, I feel like I had to compete with Charlie Bodine, and now I'm competing with another guy. Um, you know, this dude that she doesn't even know, and she just says, like, run off with him. It's like, bro, I've been beside you this whole time. I mean, she doesn't, they don't really admit their feelings. It's like this, it's like Skulder and fucking, Skulder and, uh, I mean, why I say Skulder? Oh my god, now I'm be in there. Uh, Skully and Mulder is, um, uh, oh my god, that would be like their ship name, Skulder. Oh my god, Mulder and Skull, yeah, be so cute. Anyways. Spilly and Mulder, they don't fucking get together at all. I mean, like, I don't know if they do. I haven't seen all seasons. But from what I've seen, that there's sexual attention. It's so palpable, ladies and gents of YouTube. It's so palpable that, you know, you can, you can, it's tangible. It feels tangible. But if Ian and Randy, like, they just, man, they, like, have so much sexual tension. It's like, it's like, damn, just kiss already. They don't do anything like that. And to love and curses, and it's like, okay, okay, it took them long enough, and then I mean, like, it's, you know, it was, like, Scully and Mulder, because, unlike those two, like, uh, Ian's a professor, and Randy's a student, and that's, you know, that's obviously, even today, it is very frowned upon, and, you know, which is understandable, because then his professor's gonna be fucking a lot older than their students, so anyways, basically, she falls in love with him, and what really, you know, cements that is because, like, she, I mean, he prevents her from transforming on the full moon. That could be one reason why. It could be because, like, he is this sorcerer, and he's, like, he's worshipping this demon. 
You never see what the demon looks like. You never really know. I don't think you really know a demon's name or anything. You don't exactly know, like, what the whole deal of this is, but it's probably, like, something really old and really powerful. I mean, yeah. It's probably, like, something evil, completely evil, and basically he, like, you know, he works with the- well, I mean, he's a demon's underling, and basically he is immortal. Um, he decided to become immortal, um... I think, like, his soul's gone for- but for some reason, he's, like, fucking, uh, he's fucking- I mean, obviously, he doesn't act like a robot. Um, so he traded his soul, you know, for immortality, and I guess, like, maybe he got to keep his soul, but he, um, had to get people with, you know, like, certain talents, um, and, you know, give their souls to his boss. And that's Gary Lupa, like, she also- she, like, it's a really good channel, you should check her out, she also, um- Covered um, She Wolf of London series, all of the episodes, mind you. So if you wanna, if you want to, you know, watch, you know, reviews about Love and Curses and by all means, Von Schoenner, This isn't like a, I mean, I don't know what YouTuber personally, but hey, she she talks about that stuff too. So why not, you know? Yeah. Oh, why did I get some like viewers to come her way? Anyways, yeah, basically, like Ian is hella jealous. It is hilarious. It just, it's so fucking. It's, yeah, basically she runs away to the circus, and Ian eventually finds out, like a, like a, shit, what's the name of the aunt? Elsa. Yeah, like, uh, I think, like, Ian's aunt is named, like, Elsa or something, and basically, like, she gives him this book, and he's like, oh, yeah, these parts are so scandalous. She doesn't like that, but it's like, so scandalous, and basically, like, she, he reads it. He's like, oh, wow, so Caleb and his bro were, like, competing for the affection of a new woman. Cliché as fuck. Okay, but, and basically, I think he killed his bro or something, like, like, you know, like, the net wasn't there. Like, he's there, like, Caleb or his bro died. I think his bro died, and then, you know, like, you just don't know exactly what happens. Like, the whole details doesn't really explain. And basically, yeah, like, uh, Ian finds them because, you know knows where they're going and basically yeah and like caleb tells randy like i mean he's like so uh you have to give me your soul but i mean we'll be together forever and she's like i think this is what she said she said i rather stay a werewolf werewolf for the rest of my life for i'd stay in there a second with you and then and she's like he's like the, no, don't say it, the master. And she said, to hell with the master and to hell with you. Yes, I'm a nerd. I'm a fucking nerd when it comes to the show. I've seen each episode fuck so many times. It's insane. I've seen it just so many fucking times. I'm such a, like I said, I'm such a nerd when it comes to the show. I mean, it's a good show. It's a good show. You know, like, that reminds me of Buffy a little bit. Honestly, I like Buffy a lot better. Is that just me? Yeah, comment down below if you like Chill of London or Buffy better. Oh, man. So, for some of you, I'm guessing it might be a hard question if you grew up on the show. I mean, I didn't grow up, I didn't grow up on the show, but I was like, I somehow discovered it in high school. I was like, okay, the show looks interesting. I was like, all right, all right, all right this is cool. I can, I can, I'm down with the watch this. Anyways, yeah, basically, like, Ian gets his ass knocked out, and he gets, like, tied to this you know like a kind of wheel or something then like person like gets you know like nice on her belt and then like throws it at the wheel and like almost fucking hits the person and it's like oh god one of these days he's gonna here she's gonna fuck up really and basically yeah like he almost gets killed but then randy who's werewolf because she ran away um and because she wasn't near him you know it was doing full moon or something i don't know if the whole thing took a place in the span of a month i don't know but yeah she she basically saved Ian, like she, um, she, I don't know if she was worried what she was doing, but she pushed the wheel, she tipped the wheel, the huge ass wheel over, um, and then she actually scared the, um, he scared of people who've gotten their souls taken. He actually, she actually fucking scared the life back into them. It was like kind of funny, like, she was like, hey, do not like, do not, you know, devoid of emotions because their souls got taken after all. It's a miracle. Their souls got scared back into them. And basically, yeah. Like, uh, like, 
Caleb tries killing Randy, and I mean, he, I mean, tries saving her. Um, eventually, he's able to push him into electric chair, and then Caleb Wakefield gets electrocuted in this chair that looks like you know what they used back then on death row for inmates. I think California was one of the states. I think they, uh, I mean, back then, the like a little fun fact, fun fact. <laughs> I guess not fun fact, fucked up fact. Um, basically, like, uh, I think California was one with, like, I think for a long time, uh, the way they executed, uh, like, executed people on death row was via the electric chair. But now it's, like, also, like, lethal injection, which apparently I read you now somewhere that it, it's fucking, it's fucking interesting how much long this video is going. It's fucking painful and stuff. But anyways, yeah, that's that, basically, yeah, he gets electrocuted, and he vanishes into thin air, it's like, what the fuck? I mean, okay, is it because he's immortal, and it just, I don't know. They don't really explain why he vanishes, and leaves his hat behind, with everything else, just fucking on. And basically, yeah, that's, that's, that's the gist of it, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a big old thumbs up, if you didn't, give it a thumbs down, should subscribe, I usually post on Mondays and Fridays, so by that, logic. I'll see you guys on Friday. Bye. Peace out. Well, oh my god.